So Spider-Man 2 releases tonight, or technically tomorrow, and I am so excited to get 19 inches of venom inside of me. In fact, I am edging at the thought of it. What do you mean by that? But before that, I needed something to do with my time on this earth, so I quickly decided to platinum Astro's Playroom, since I have never done it yet, which is kind of a sin as a trophy hunter. Also, I'm gonna try and stream some of the Spider-Man 2 Platinum grind on the channel for anyone who wants to watch. Astro's Playroom is a free game added to your library when you get a PS5, and it is in fact one of the easiest Platinums out there. The game is kind of like a tutorial or introduction to the features of the DualSense PS5 controller, and it has a lot of fun things in it to do also. I had played it a tiny bit before when I first got my PS5, so I already had five trophies to start off. Let's go! But the Platinum stages are sort of non-existent, and the only real objective you need to do is to find every single puzzle piece and artifact across all the different islands or areas in the game. The first trophy I got was when I made it to this area of the game with a ton of water and some diving boards into such water. And since I love getting wet all over, I decided to jump on the highest one and collect all of the coins right in front of it, which also gave me a trophy called Helldiver. Not sure why it's called that, but it probably references something which I don't get since I'm retarded. I then finished off the area in entirety and got a trophy for that. I then got to become a monkey, which has always been one of my dreams as a skinny white man. And then I finished off another area for a trophy also. And on the next area, I got to be this rolling ball for whatever reason, and it was kind of cursed. But if you run it into all these bowling pins and get a strike, you will also get a trophy for doing such actions. Later on in the same area, I found all the puzzle pieces there and got a trophy. And another right after for finishing this area off. I then went to the PlayStation Lab or whatever it was called, which is basically just this big room with all the artifacts you found. And all the walls have the puzzle pieces on them also. But there is an arcade machine in the back of the place and I spent lots of time there trying to get puzzle pieces and artifacts. Eventually I pulled this one item from the machine and it was a cool little trophy statue thing which also gave me a real trophy in addition. And I still had coins left over so I kept on spending them and am convinced this machine is now a gateway drug into gambling. So Sony can expect a future lawsuit from me when I lose all my money. But before that, I got this puzzle piece and apparently got enough for a trophy, which is almost as cool as I am, but not quite. A while later on, I reached this area of the game and we got to do a full-on boss fight. And I gotta say, them making this game free is awesome since it's probably one of the best free games I've ever played. Then again, you could argue it's like a part of the fat price for the PS5, but I ended up beating this boss fight without getting killed at all since I'm just a pro like that. And a few seconds later, got another trophy for finishing the final area of the game. This wasn't that hard or long since the game only has like four areas in total. Now it's sort of time for the cleanup, I guess, but in all honesty, just need to keep playing the game and getting coins, since that is one of the only grindy things in it. Before that though, I thought you needed to do this extra fight called 1994 Throwback, and you actually didn't need to, but it was pretty fun and actually a tad bit hard since I did indeed fail many times. You basically just need to fight these two dinosaurs back to back, and it's quite simple to be honest, and still a lot of fun to do. You also get tons of coins while doing it, which is a help anyways in the Platinum Trophy. So after I beat that, it didn't give me a trophy. However, I did feel accomplished, so that's something I guess. Oh, and it also gave us some credits, and I just left because I can't ever be asked to watch credits. Those sons of bitches already got my $500 for this PS5. Dude. Oh. What are you doing? And I just realized, wouldn't that make this game technically be the most expensive game if it's like the PS5 game? Anyways, I got a trophy right after that when I headed to the Memory Meadow and found all the artifacts there, and got a free tuggy from one of the bots nearby. Gosh, this game has everything. I then became this jumping frog thing, and instead of dedicating my god-given gifts to the NBA, I just found another artifact for another trophy. And I'm starting to realize how many I actually missed when going through these levels. I then went to this level which had a beach on it, and I just swam around for a hot minute until I finally figured out which puzzle piece I was missing, and after I found it, I got a trophy for finding it. I'm still missing that one puzzle piece though to make me happy. But hopefully if you guys drop a like and subscribe, it will just fall in. I then went to this other level and completely missed one thing there, which had both the final puzzle piece and artifact on it. And honestly, I didn't even think you could make this jump, and I nearly felt oh my, my death. But I made it and found both, which gave me two trophies back to back. There's also hang gliding in this game, and for the life of me, I could not stand it since you need to like rotate your controller or- Ugh. There's also hang gliding in this game, and for the life of me, I could not stand it since you need to like rotate your controller all sorts of different ways, and I only needed to fly to this one puzzle piece but failed multiple times, and nearly started to rage at Astro's Playroom, which should honestly be a platinum trophy in itself since that takes another level of mental instability, which I probably have after these last few months of YouTube content. Anyways, right after that trophy, I teleported to SSD Speedway and literally missed the easiest puzzle piece yet, which was just sitting right in front of my face and it gave me a trophy also. I then gambled a little bit more and lost everything, but at least now I can relate to XQC and his crippling addiction.
I then did these two trophies which can be obtained right after each other. The first just has you run around CPU main lobby or whatever it's called and punch 20 bots to get them to run after you. And once you get 20, you get a trophy. And after that, you can do a spinning attack on them all and hit 10 in the air for another trophy. And we have been running through these trophies nearly as fast as my ex-girlfriend is running through other guys to try and find a replacement for me. But sadly, it can't be done. I then returned to the PlayStation lab and got five trophies for doing various different interactive things with the artifacts I've already found. The first one was for opening this disk drive, which I didn't even mean to do and was honestly on accident as I was running around the area. Next, I punched the PlayStation logo on the PS2, which was a trophy. And after that, you had to punch the PSVR and then walk around and just stare into it until it turned on and gave you a trophy. And after that, I then had to go find where they put all the PlayStation trophies on display. And after punching the Platinum one, it gave me a trophy. But wouldn't it have been funny if they had two Platinum trophies for the game, one where you just do all the trophies and then another when you hold this one. I then did some Michael Scott inspired parkour above the entire room until reaching the end of this artifact I found and got the last trophy in the PlayStation Lab for now. There was then another trophy called Keepy Uppies, which not only made me feel mentally ill, but I now have head trauma because you need to bounce this ball five times off of your head. Now I did that to your mom last night, but it also gave me a trophy today. I found nature's bidet and let the water shoot up my butt, and made myself irrevocably dizzy by spinning and doing three jumps in a row. So if the Platinum Trophy videos don't work out, at least now I know the Olympics is calling my name for ice skating. However, my downfall is that I am definitely afraid of woman and rain. But I can only hide from rain right now, so that's what I did and I got a trophy for it. I then did a trophy which was in reference to the Horizon games called Ready for the Proving. And you have to shoot back these green globs of death and agony with your bow and arrow that you get in like one mission. It was a little bit hard, but I did it, so obviously it can't be that bad. I then tried to make this snowman thing, but the dumb ball rolled off the side and I chased after it, giving my life to the effort. But I returned and rolled it around more, which gave me another trophy. I then got to be a monkey again, which was a hell of a time, and I let myself fall to my death on purpose, but caught it just before dying. So now I just have irreversible joint damage, and another trophy in addition. I then got to play a hunting game and shoot some rabbits for another trophy. And I picked up this machine gun and just spun in circles with it to really simulate American schools in the modern century. Thank god I'm graduated now. I can live to 50 with ease. I then returned to the PlayStation Lab area and got a ton more trophies. First, I found the rest of the artifacts in the game. I then ran under this house thing, which was indeed a trophy for some reason, and punched down the PlayStation banner, which is honestly disrespectful, but it's okay, I got a trophy. I now only had a few trophies left, so I just went and played some of the missions to gather coins, and I actually didn't need to get this many, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. So I returned to the infamous claw machine of trophies and got the remaining items I needed from it, which gave me the last two trophies before the platinum pop right after. So that was the Astro Playroom's platinum trophy. Honestly, sad I didn't do this first, but hey, it's done now. That was also a part of my game library completion task I've been doing, and the next video I post will be Spider-Man 2's platinum. Also, I'll probably try to stream it a little bit later on after this video goes up and the game comes out. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, and pet your dog for me.